Asalamualaikum mpenzi mtazamaji popote palo lipo ni matumaini yetu kwamba umeshinda vyema hujambo na karibu kwenye taarifa hizi za darubini ya Channel 1. Bila shaka hii ni darubini mtazamaji na tumekuandalia taarifa kemkem ikiwemo taarifa kuhusiana na mwanamume mmoja anayezuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Kilimani baada ya kukamatwa na bunduki ishirini na risasi tano. Taarifa hiyo kwa kina tumekuandalia hapa ikiwemo pia taarifa kuhusiana na mpango wa kutoa hati miliki za ardhi na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta hivi leo mpango huo uh, tutakueleza zaidi kuhusiana na hayo. Kwanza kabisa tuanze kwa video kezo. Mwanamme azuiliwa na polisi baada ya kunaswa na bunduki ishirini na zaidi ya risasi tano. Tume ya elimu ya vyuo vikuu yatangua barua iliyobatilisha utambuzi wa shahada ya seneta wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja. Na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta azindua shughuli ya kutoa hati miliki milioni moja za ardhi kote nchini. Karibu mtazamaji ni Ahmed Jumabalo ukinita IJB nitaitikia mwenzetu Lugha Ishara ni Lucy Maura. Nami naitwa Beatrice Gatonyangetich. Karibu. Mwanamme mmoja anazuiliwa na polisi baada ya kukamatwa na bunduki ishirini na zaidi ya risasi tano. Maafisa upelelezi kutoka DCI na wale wa kitengo cha kukabiliana na ugaidi walimkamata Ken Lugwiri anefahamika kwa majina mengine kama Wycliffe Otieno Lugwiri ambaye ni mmiliki wa kampuni ya Vic Technologies baada ya kujisalimisha kwa polisi katika kituo cha polisi cha Kilimani kufuatia msako katika afisi yake ambako silaha hizo zilipatikana Maafisa wa upelelezi wanamzuilia mwanamume mmoja anayesemekana kuwa mfanyabiashara anayedaiwa kupatikana na silaha kadhaa zikiwemo bunduki 20 za aina mbalimbali na risasi tano zikiwa zimehifadhiwa katika ofisi yake kwenye barabara ya Wood Avenue eneo la Kilimani jijini Nairobi we are yet to do that once we are, we conduct that inventory we are in a position to confirm what uh, the, the number of guns that they have the number of guns that were recovered and whether indeed there are any guns foreign or that did not belong to him that are there Mshukio huyo Ken Lugwiri kwa jina lingine Weekly Fortieno Lugwiri mmiliki wa kampuni ya Vic Technologies Limited alijisalimisha kwa polisi katika kituo cha polisi cha Kilimani baada ya galala lake la silaha lililo pia afisi yake kuvamiwa na silaha hizo kupatikana we, we do not know the accusations yet so the issue is that uh, the guns were just uh, recovered from his premises which is a licensed uh, gun dealership and they were brought here so we have not actually been he has not recorded any statement he has not uh, been uh, interrogated so there is no accusations level against him at, at this point maafisa upelelezi umbainisha kuwa mshukio huyo ana leseni ya kuuza bunduki lakini leseni yake ilifutiliwa mbali miaka mitatu iliyopita one of the police is just to confirm the 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 validity of the licenses that we hold and he, he is actually maafisa wa kitengo cha kukabiliana na ugaidi wamechukua kesi hiyo na wanamchunguza iwapo wana uhusiano wote na makundi ya kigaidi na tuelekee mahakamani ambapo tume ya elimu ya vuviku imefutilia mbali barua iliyobatilisha utambuzi wa shahada ya seneta wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja kutoka chuo kikuu cha Tim kusubiri uchunguzi zaidi. Haya yanajiri baada ya Sakaja kuwasilisha kesi ya kuidharau mahakama dhidi ya mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo Profesa Chacha Nyaigoti Chacha kwa madai ya kukiuka maagizo ya mahakama hati zilizowasilishwa mahakamani sakaja anadai kwamba chacha alidhihirisha madharau kupuuza na kukaidi maagizo ya mahakama ambaye alisitisha kwa muda hatua ya tume hiyo kubatilisha kutambuliwa kwa shahada yake kwenye majibu katika kesi hiyo iliyowasilishwa na sakaja tume hiyo sasa inasema kuwa ombi lililowasilishwa na seneta huyo limepitwa na wakati na kwamba kuna msingi wa mahakama kutekeleza jukumu lake kusiana na swala hilo juma lililopita tume hiyo ilimwandikia sakaja kubatilisha kutambuliwa kwa shahada yake kutoka chuo hicho kikuu nchini Uganda ikitaja malalamishi inayosema ilipata kuhusiana na walali wa shahada hiyo Profesa Chacha siku ya Ijumaa alishinikiza kwamba sakaja wasilisha hati mbalimbali mbali kudhibitisha madai yake kuhusiana na shahada hiyo. It raises so many questions mm. as to their functionality mm. to their independence to their accountability mm. when they are performing public uh, functions or when they are still in public office. Mm -hmm. Investigation should come first. 
and uh, then an action is taken alifaa kuwasilisha hati hizo siku ya Jumatatu lakini tangu wakati huu hajati amri hiyo linchalo darubini Tukisonga mbele mtazamaji baada ya miaka tisa mashindano ya magari ya dunia WRC yalirejea humu nchini mwaka uliopita jinsi alivyoahidi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kurejea kwa mashindano hayo ya magari ya dunia kulia kuliahirisha uh, safari nyingi kwa sekta ya biashara humu nchini mashindano hayo ya magari ya dunia yaliipa Kenya sifa tele duniani pamoja na kuagiza ama kuangazia sehemu mbalimbali za utalii humu nchini huku zaidi ya mashabiki milioni 850 wakitazama magari hayo Kenya katika miaka ya awali ilipata sifa kupitia maandalizi ya mashindano ya dunia ya mbio za magari au safari rally. Hata hivyo mashindano hayo baadaye yalisitishwa na kuacha wengi na masikitiko. Ni uamuzi ambao Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliahidi kubatilisha mara tu alipochukua hatamu za uongozi. In 2013 I made a pledge to my fellow citizens that we would bring the safari rally back home. And I also promised that I would return the safari rally to its position as one of the international automobile federations and the world rally championships toughest rallies. This goal has materialized nine years later into the event that we are witnessing today. Huko kitambua mchango wa mashindano hayo kwa uchumi wa taifa. Rais aliongoza mchakato huo kwa mafanikio makuu na baada ya miaka tisa kivumbi kikazuka. <tipos> Wengi walijitokeza kushuhudia mashindano hayo kuanzia uzinduzi wake hadi kilele chake. Nilikuwa nasikia kitambo sana nikiwa mtoto lakini sijai kuona live so hii nimefurahia kwa mara yangu ya kwanza kuja hapa kuiona live. Hiyo vumbi ndio pesa. Yes, hiyo vumbi ikuja hivi ndio pesa sasa inakuja tunashukuru sana kuona hiyo vumbi. Kurejeshwa kwa mbio hizo ikawa habari njema kwa wengi. At least hiyo ni one of the games zenye tulizilikuwa zimesaulika. So sasa hii tunajivunia si kama vijana na wale wenye wanatambua ku drive at least serikali imetutambua biashara pia zilinoga. Biashara imekuwa mzuri kwa sababu tumeona wingi wa customer na tumekuwa na sale mzuri yetu. Tumeona at least hii safari rally imetuletea customer wengi sana. Sekta utalii ikapigwa jeki. It's been amazing. I mean, the people obviously have been waiting this for a long time so uh, I can see the passion and the love for the sport and the country is really really nice. Kwa mara nyingine, rais alitimiza hadi yake. Uko na furaha sana ile safari rally nimerudi Kenya after 19 years tunataka kurudishia president wetu Uhuru Kenyatta shukurani because of his tireless effort we have agreed with the international automobile federation as well as the world rally championship to continue hosting the safari rally in Kenya every year until the year 2026 na bila shaka mashindano hayo ya WRC na kumbuka utotoni mhm mm uh, kumbukumbu ambayo alikuwa niko nayo ilibahatika kuwa utani mm -hmm. ndio familia iliyokuwa na runinga basi watoto tukikusanyika pale kuangalia <laughs> <laughs> mbio za magari <laughs> Mimi sikumbuki hizo siku za utoto kwa sababu sikuwa fani wa magari hata hivyo ni jambo la uh, kufurahisha bila bila shaka na uh, generation hii Eh? Hmm. Wataweza pia kujionea iwapo mpango kama huu utaendelea. Watoto wa Instagram hawajitozungumzia <laughs> nini. Haya <laughs> mtazamaji kwa sasa tuelekea kwenye mapumziko tukirejea ni taarifa zaidi usine mbali. All I do is win. I wake up I win. I close my eyes and I win.
Wow, you look great. Did you just come from the salon? Darling Abuja, braids that stay salon fresh no matter what. Do you have a new story to share with KBC? Get in touch swiftly on email news at kbc.co.ke or call 0723-892-654 or 0734-780-124. Our arts and entertainment industry has evolved over the years. It is at such times that our destinies are written. Will we rise up in courage? Or die in cowardice. Who are the movers and shakers in film and theater? Get trendy as we review locally produced films and stage drama every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on cinemas and theater. Brought to you by the Kenya Film Commission. Film Kenya, capture Africa. Karibu tena mtazamaji, unaendelea kutazama Darubini ya Channel 1. Na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amezindua awamu ya hivi punde ya kitaifa ya mpango wa kutoa hati za umiliki wa ardhi utokowezesha kutolewa kwa hati milioni moja za kumiliki ardhi kwenye mashamba hayo kote nchini. Akitoa hati mbili za kumiliki ardhi ili kuashiria mwanzo wa mpango huo katika jumba la KICC jijini Nairobi, Rais Kenyatta aliwaagiza mawaziri wa ardhi na usalama wa kitaifa kubuni mpango utakao wahusisha mawaziri wengine katika utoaji wa hati miliki zilizosalia ambazo ziko tayari ili kuharakisha ukamilishaji wa shughuli hiyo. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameangazia hatua kadhaa ambazo serikali imepiga chini ya mpango wa marekebisho katika sekta ya ardhi. Akikariri kwamba mpango wa kitaifa wa utoaji wa hati za kumiliki ardhi ambao serikali yake ilianzisha mwaka 2013 umesaidia kuharakisha utayarishaji wa utoaji wa hati za kumiliki ardhi kwa Kenya wengi This has been through the collaboration with government in surveying verification of ownership documents and supporting alternative dispute resolution processes Kiongozi wa taifa alikariri kwamba mpango wa kitaifa wa utoaji hati za kumiliki ardhi Mwezesha wa Kenya wanaishi katika maeneo yaliyosalia nyuma kimeendeleo kama vile kaunti za Isamburu, Isiolo na Masabit kumiliki ardhi hivyo basi kuwapo uwezo wa kustawi kiuchumi Registries in the various counties and as we launch this national title deeds issuance program today I do direct the cabinet secretary ministry of lands working together with her counterpart in the ministry of interior and coordination of national government to draw by this friday a program assigning various cabinet secretaries responsibility to travel to each part of the country together with county commissioners to issue the balance of the ready title deeds Rais Kenyatta pia amesema chini ya mpango huo wote watakao nufaika na mpango huo ambao unaoishi katika vijiji vilivyokuwa vya kikoloni kama vile Nyandaru walipewa hati za kumiliki ardhi ili hali tatizo la muda mrefu na mizozo umiliki wa ardhi katika mashamba makubwa ya ufugaji huko nchini limeweza kushughulikiwa mimi na waomba let us treat this as a valuable document let us not treat these documents as individually owned this document belongs to you and your family and you must sit and plan together Rais aliongeza kusema kupitia kwa mpango huo serikali imefanikiwa kulinda rasilimali zake za kiasili na turadhi ambazo zilikuwa kwenye hatari ya kunyakuliwa. Serikali pia inatoa hati za kumiliki ardhi za taasisi za umma. Ilhali Wizara ya Ardhi na Mipango ya Miji kishirikana na sekta ya elimu imefanikiwa kutayarisha hati za kumiliki ardhi za shule 1020 na wanafanya usorovia katika shule 1032. We have also through the Ministry of Lands gazetted additional Ten registries in Kajiado West, Kajiado South, Yata, Mtomo, Samburu, Malindi, Roiro, Tigania, Tigania West, Marimanti, Kiritiri to name but a few. 
This brings the total number of land registries across the country to a historic high of 67, meaning that in most of these areas, you no longer need to travel to Nairobi. Timothy Kipnoso, Darubini. Na mtazamaji sasa tuangazie taarifa za biashara. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Benki ya Equity James Mwangi ametoa wito wa kuzingatia mfumo mpya wa kiuchumi na kijamii duniani utakaochochea imani kati ya wenye biashara na jamii. Akiongea kwenye kikao cha kibiashara cha viongozi wa nchi na serikali wanachama wa jumuiya ya madola kilichoandaliwa jijini Kigali Rwanda, Mwangi alisema tangu kuzuka kwa janga la COVID-19, utandawazi na ushindani hali ya kiuchumi ili tindika na kuhatarisha ajira ya mamilioni ya watu. Taarifa kamili ni kwenye mseto wa biashara. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa benki ya Equity Group ametoa changamoto kwa viongozi duniani kukabiliana na athari za janga la COVID-19 na kuzingatia jukumu la jumuiya ya madola katika kuimarisha na kufufua uchumi duniani. Alitilia manani ustawi wa kilimo, rasilimali za madini, vijana na wanawake na mazingira kuwa ni nguzo kuwa na nguzo nne zitakazobadili bara la Afrika wakati huu wa kipindi cha mpito baada ya janga la COVID-19. Everybody knows what they want, but looks like we had no common plan that we could all put our hearts on. And with all the hearts on the deck, pulling or pushing the same direction, we believe the reset will happen. Wakati huo huo, ufadhili wa kila mwaka kwa wanaoanzisha biashara humo nchini unakadiriwa kufika shilingi bilioni mia moja katika kipindi cha miaka mitatu ijayo huku kampuni zinazoshughulikia malipo zikitarajiwa kuvutia wawekezaji wa kuu kuaji huo umepigwa jeki na uwekezaji na ubunifu katika ujasiri mali and as the government we recognize that the youth of the country are very innovative you know they are very creative and they take up tech very well in what they do whatever they do um, so as a government we aim to create an enabling environment for the uptake of ICTs and uh, you know for the utilization of tech in uh, in uh, various sectors and we, we even have uh, tech and ICT creating uh, job opportunities for these young people Hatimaye wazalishaji huru wa kawi wanahimiza wadau katika sekta ya umeme kutumia betri zinazohifadhi kawi kudhibiti usambazaji wa kawi wazalishaji hao wa kawi wamesema teknolojia za kuhifadhi kawi zitasaidia Kenya kuongeza uzalishaji kawi kutokana na miradi za kuzalisha kawi safi na thabiti Mwenyekiti wa chama cha wadau wa sekta ya kawi humo nchini George Aluru amesema beti za kuhifadhi kawi zitasaidia nchi kudumisha matumizi ya kawi safi. photographer Black Milk. I have an exhibition in eight weeks about how things get better with time. Let's go! Darling Fluffy Kinky inspired me. That looks amazing. I'm seeing how the twists blend with her hair over time. How she actually feels more confident. Perfect. Yeah, this perfect. She's really more beautiful every week. That's definitely worth celebrating. Darling Fluffy Kinky. Twists that get better every day. Just like you.
Kitambulisho hicho ni sharatosha kwamba ni wakti wa habari za michezo. Karibu mimi ni tuwa Timothy Kipnusu. Na wanaanga na taarifa kwamba mashindano ya majaribio ya kuitiwa timu ya riadha itakayowakilisha Kenya kwenye michezo ya jumuiya ya madola na mashindano ya dunia tandaliwa siku ya Ijumaa na Jumamosi jumla ya wana riadha 45 watachaguliwa katika vitengo kumi na vitatu. Chama cha riadha Kenya kinatarajiwa kuitewa timu ya riadha itakayoshiriki kwenye mashindano hayo mawili ila wale watakaoshiriki kwenye mbio za marathoni kulingana chama cha AK wana riadha watakaoshiriki kwenye mashindano ya dunia wamepewa mwaliko na tayari wameandikisha muda wa kufuzu na watachaguliwa wakati majaribio hayo huku washiriki wa michezo ya jumuiya ya madola wakiwania nafasi zao wakati majaribio hayo uwanjani kasarani and so those who will be those who will be running for the world championships as i said are invited will be in, they will be invited because we cannot invite somebody who was not qualified so saturday friday and saturday is just selection because they have those whom we have um, invited have all qualified we have worked with adak very closely we have um, uh, we have um, a list from aiu and so we have got a complete list of those who are qualified Wanariadha watakaomaliza katika nafasi mbili za mwanzo kwenye vitengo hivyo 13 watachaguliwa kushiriki kwenye michezo hiyo huku wanariadha watakaomaliza katika nafasi za tatu na wale watakaopewa nafasi zilizosalia wakichaguliwa na jopo maalum Athletes for World Championships and Commonwealth Games will run together They will run together in, the, in their events in one hit and if a commonwealth qual a commonwealth athlete qualified wins in position 1 and 2 and a world championship qualif qualifier comes outside 1 and 2 the anti doping qualifying rules takes precedence nafasi za moja kwa moja zitapewa washindi wa mashindano ya dunia mwaka 2019 pamoja na washindi wa msuru ya diamond league mwaka 2021 wild cards uh, you, you know that we have got wild cards wild cards are the for, for the the athletes who are defending champions from the previous event for the world championship and those who won um diamond league in the previous year that is 2021 so there could be a, a situation where there are two athletes in the same event in the same event uh, and they have all both of them qualify for the wild card but then we cannot take both Fani za viwanjani zimeachwa nje ya majaribio hayo huku chama cha AK kisema kuwa alikuwa bingwa wa dunia kurusha mkuki Julius Yego tayari amefuzu kwa michezo ya jumu ya madola Javelin throwers hmm? How many do we have Only two only two Maybe three and and really for 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 two 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 athletes to come and run on their own or or, or throw it doesn't <laughs> Wakati huo benki ya Absa na wakfu wa Loto zimedhamini mashindano hayo kwa kima cha shilingi milioni 12 na milioni 3 mtawalia. Michezo But particularly over the last three years we've been very involved in athletics. Uh, and this is because we we are truly and proudly a Kenyan brand and we have to play our role in supporting that what makes Kenya great which is athletics. So for us as a foundation um The, we we've seen the growth that has been athletics uh, that has happened in athletics we are working we we are now cheering sprinters that that has not happened in a long time so i think it's for us to look back at what have we gained um, what have we lost what have we learned so that we have a great sport to look forward to and after this um, we work towards to paris 2024 Michezo ya jumuiya ya madola itaandaliwa kuanzia tarehe nane mwezi Julai hadi tarehe nane mwezi Agosti jini Birmingham Uingereza na ya mashindano ya riadha dunia yakiandaliwa kuanzia tarehe tano hadi nane mwezi Julai jijini Oregon Marekani Bernard Okumu Darubini michezo Kontu Bernard Okumu twagenda riadha tutupie jicho volleyball jumla ya makocha kumi na saba wa volleyball wanashiriki kwenye mafunzo ya siku tano yaliyoandaliwa na shirikisho la mchezo huo huko nchini na lili la dunia FIVB mafunzo hayo ya kiwango cha pili yanalenga kunoa makali ya makocha hao zaidi ili kuimarisha viwango vya mchezo huo huko nchini tazama Mafunzo ya kiwango cha pili ya volleyball yanaongozwa na mkufunzi wa FIVB Mustafa Shusha mwavutia wachezaji wa awali wanaoingia katika ukufunzi pamoja na makocha vilabu vinavyoshiriki katika ligi kuu ya volleyball huko nchini 
mafunzo hayo yamewavutia pia makocha kutoka mataifa ya Rwanda, Uganda, Sudan, Kusini na Tanzania. Mafunzo hayo kulingana na naibu kinara shirikisho la volleyball humu nchini Charles Nyaberi yamelenga kunua makali ya makocha chipukizi huku taifa hili likiazimia kuinua viwango vya mchezo wake kimataifa kwa upande wa wanaume na kinadada. So what we are trying to do is put in place a system of continuity a system of transition whereby the top players instead of just dropping out into the wilderness in the playing wilderness so to say they remain in the system in one capacity or another preferably as coaches others remain on as referees and others go on to become uh, administrators mafunzo hayo ya kiwango cha pili yanaandaliwa baada kukamilika kwa ile ya kiwango cha kwanza juma lilopita na aliyowavutia makocha 35 huku mafunzo pia ya makocha volleyball ya ufuoni yakitarajiwa kuandaliwa mwezi Julai jijini Nairobi Wakati huo timu ya taifa kina dada ya volleyball inatarajiwa kuelekea nchini Brazil siku ya Ijumaa tayari kwa mazoezi ya miezi miwili nchini humo. Nchini Brazil Malkia Strikers inatarajiwa kucheza mechi za kirafiki dhidi ya vilabu vya Brazil kabla ya kuelekea nchini Sabi takakochuana na Colombia na Serbia katika mechi za mwisho za kirafiki kabla ya kuelekea nchini Uholanzi kwa mashindano ya dunia. Safari ya timu hiyo kuelekea nchini Brazil imekumbwa na matatizo ya kifedha huku shirikisho la mchezo huo nchini likisihi serikali kufadhili safari yao. Uh, our, our... Uh, appeal still goes back without sounding like a broken record we still ab- uh, appeal to our government since uh, the Serbian leg and also the world championships proper will fall in the next financial year we still plead for the government to the government to consider and uh, fund us makala 19 ya mashindano ya dunia yanatarajiwa kuandaliwa baina ya tarehe 20 Kwa kinako ni kwamba kamati ya kitaifa ya Olimpiki imeweza kuzindua michezo katika eneo la Mlima Elgon ili kuleta amani katika kaunti ya Bungoma mashindano yakiwa ni baina ya timu mbalimbali ambayo yameanza leo washiriki themanini kutoka kaunti za Bungoma Tanzania ateso au uh, kupokote magharibi elgeo mara kwetu wasinge shubaringo na nandi wamepiga kambi ugani mayuba katika gatuzi la bungoma eneo bunge la sirisia lengo kula mashindo hayo ni kugeuza tamaduni za maeneo hayo hasa za kutumia mishale kwa vita na wizi wa mifugo kudhihisha kwa michezo ya kisasa sehemu ya pili ya mradi huo itazunduliwa kajiado mwezi julai Tazamaji ni hayo tu kwenye uh, sporti ni ruhusu niweze kupiga pasi safi kwa wenzangu walionipisha Juma Balo pamoja na Beatrice Gatonye. Kesho pia ni siku tucheze pamoja nao. live muhimu mbona kipafu vile ah amejaa karibu sana kipafu <laughs> <laughs> muhimu kupumzika eh amepumzika yuko freshi eh Mbile anasikika ana uh, ana nguvu za kutosha kufanya kazi <laughs> Hai mtazamaji sasa tunaingia darasani moja kwa moja kama tujua hivi ni msimu wa kisiasa na kwa sasa kuna waniaji wanne rasmi ambao wamethibitishwa na IBC mm. wataweza kuania urais katika uchaguzi wa mwezi Agosti. Na nitakuwa nikikufunza majina yao kwa lugha ya ishara. Na hivi leo naomba tu bila kufuatilia eh, mpangilio wowote, nianze na anayewania na chama cha Azimio, Raila Odinga. Jina lake kwa lugha ya ishara ni lipi? Raila. 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 Alafu anaye wanie rais kwa chama cha UDA uh, ambaye ni Bruto. ambaye <laughs> ambaye pia ni naibu wa rais hapa nchini hmm. daktari William Ruto 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 
cha kusema Ruto kwa lugha ishara na unamaanisha ambaye aliye naibu wa rais sasa hivi na ambaye anawania urais kwa chama cha UDA kwa jina lake la ishara Ruto <laughs> Mwelekeza anasema tunataka tujue ya Wajakoya. Mna ngoja ya Wajakoya. <laughs> <laughs> Kwanza unajua chama chake ni kipi? Roots, eh? Roots, Roots, Party. Party. Eh? Roots Party. Roots Party. Nitakuwa nikikueleza. Lakini, Kwa sababu ndio tumeanza. Hawa ya pia wana, wana manaibu wao na tungependa kujifunza ay, majina yao kwa lugha ya ishara. Na no. nitakuwa tukijifunza hapa kwenye no. darasa hili. Hivyo basi polepole. Pole. <laughs> Shukran sana. Leo ni hao Raila Odinga na William Ruto. <laughs> Bila shaka tutaendelea siku za mbeleni kukuelezea manaibu wao na kina Wajakoya na wengineo. <laughs> Kufikia hapo mtazamaji hatuna la ziada. Mimi naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo mwenzetu la Ishara. Ni Lucy Moura tukutane hapo kesho inshallah. Asalamu alaikum. Na mimi naitwa Beatrice Getonyengetit na kutakia usiku mwema.